As we've been telling you, the Philadelphia School District will now require surgical masks for kids. But the new rules come as COVID cases are vanishing in the city. And Philadelphia's premier children's hospital now says schools should consider dropping the mask mandate altogether. NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal is hearing from those doctors. Across Philadelphia, COVID cases plummeting, hospitalizations way down. Hopefully we all get boosted and hopefully this kind of, I don't see this kind of going away. And a growing sense many are looking for an off-ramp. We got to break the trend some kind of way and learn how to live with this as a norm. Predicting the pandemic is hard, but with high vaccine rates and a less severe variant, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia says it's time to rethink. We're at a very different moment in this pandemic. Dr. David Rubin, policy director at CHOP, says restrictions on kids like masking, virtual learning can be harmful and may no longer be needed. This is a moment to start begin talking about removing the scaffolding and, and, and trying to reduce the restrictions that have been placed on kids because the risks in terms of their mental health, in terms of continued learning loss, uh, you know, those types of things were now far greater uh, than the virus itself. CHOP says Omicron cases among children are similar to other seasonal viruses, and within days, all kids could get the vaccine. But CHOP got major pushback from teachers' unions, even though teachers were among the first to get the vaccine, most spread happening outside the classroom. I think as we hit February here, we're going to see an increasing number of schools now moving to these uh, more of a mask recommendation than a mask requirement. And I think we have to start recognizing that these choices have to return to families. But in Philadelphia, the school district just announced an even stricter mask policy, while the health department says it may be several months until they come off because masks work. With um, children of all ages is that they do, they're quite resilient. They do very well with masking. Of course, we would all love to get rid of those masks. You know, I understand the, the child policy lab perspective, but when we look across the city, you know, we still see we have 250,000 adults who are still unvaccinated. Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.